So there isn't much excitement surrounding the new state button in Adobe Muse uh, 7.0 that came out today. Uh, there should be more excitement about it. I mean, it's, it's pretty badass, and I want to show you guys right now uh, what it's all about. So I'm going to preview this in the browser real quick just to show you guys uh, what the need is for it in the first place. Uh, you can see here that I've got this buy now button which you can see is a rectangle that's, with, that's got rounded corners on the right hand side and then I've got this eight dollar part that has rounded corners on the left hand side so you can tell by looking at it that it is two separate buttons. I mean it's two separate rounded rectangles and when I hover over it sure enough it behaves that way. Uh, in fact this used to be the only way that things could behave. If they were separate objects they must behave uh, in the rollover state as separate objects. And you can see up here I also have a bow in a circle and when I mouse over that the hover state shows that it gets a little bit more solid, a little bit more vibrant uh, by way of opacity being increased and then it's got this green ring that goes around the perimeter. But these all behave independently of one another and now with the state button I can group these things together like I have down here so when I hover over it any piece affects every other piece they all behave as one they are technically still separate pieces I haven't done any weird tricks I'm just using the state button feature of Adobe Muse 7.0 so let me show you guys what that looks like I've got several pieces here I've got several pieces uh, that are separate objects. They're not grouped or anything like that. And if you guys are like me, you've probably tried grouping things together to get them to behave as one single rollover, which never worked in the past. Uh, but now if you head over here to the widgets library, you'll find that under compositions, there is now the state button. And if you drag the state button on here, it's this ugly little thing that doesn't seem to do much. Uh, but really what it is, is a shell where you can create objects within the shell and they will behave uh, simultaneously when it comes to the state changing from uh, mouse over to mouse down so you can create really cool fancy rollovers like uh, like the one that I just showed you. Not that it's that cool or that fancy of a rollover but uh, you can really go nuts with this. You can have as many objects as you want synchronized with one another. So uh, this ugly thing here is a really poor terrible starting point for creating a state button but I could delete these things here and I could create within this rectangle here uh, or I could even grab this and I can copy and I can paste into this and when I do that it becomes sort of like a group uh, and my background which is gray right now uh, I could set the fill to nothing and now when I go and preview it in the browser that does accomplish it. Just by copying and pasting these separate objects onto that state button, uh, that does the trick. But just a disclaimer for you guys, let me undo a couple times. When you do paste it on here, it moves separately, and if you move it out of the gray box, you're gonna mess yourself up. So what you really wanna do is paste it in there, and then click away to lock it in, and then you can come back and you can move it as one object or you can click a second time to still mess with it so you're not you're not stuck when you click away but you are solidifying what it is that you attempted and uh, just to go back to how ugly and terrible of a starting point this is for a state button uh, I'd like to show you guys that on museresources.com under the moolibs section I've created for you an empty state button that you can download and you can add to your library panel here uh, and this tutorial button will actually link to this tutorial that you're watching right now but if you go and download it'll drop into your downloads folder here or wherever you choose to save it to and then when you double click on that moolib file it ends up over here on the library and if you guys aren't familiar with the library that is a new feature of Muse 7.0 where you can save things to be able to use them on other projects so now what you'll be able to do is using this empty state button that I've created for you you could highlight and copy this or even cut it I'll hit command X to cut that and when I drop empty state button on here I can hit paste click away and I'm done I don't have to deal with any other formatting I don't have to get rid of that great background I don't have to delete those other little things on there so empty state button is your new best friend and it automatically scales to encompass all of what you paste into it that's why I made it such a small little box so go and download that and I think you guys will save a lot of time and hopefully this state button thing will uh, make your websites better because personally I'm using it like crazy already so please subscribe if you haven't already I've got more stuff coming soon